please. And one, and two, and three go. And two, and you're a princess. Why couldn't the princess please hold still so the costume designer can measure her? And one, and two, and three. Oh, no! Dear sister, I am going to have the first dance with Prince Barry Chan. Decide who has the first dance with the prince. Prince. Well, it says prince here. What? Oh, another typo. Sorry, my fault. Excuse me, people. Everyone, a moment for your director. I know I've been working you hard, but I wanted to take a moment before our dress rehearsal tonight to thank you for the marvelous job everyone is doing. I know our production of Barryella and Prince Barry Charming is going to be a delightful surprise for our baby Barrykins. Strawberry, you are doing a very fine job as Barryella. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, still, please. Oh, sorry, Berry Fairy Fashion Mother. Raspberry, you are also doing a wonderful job. Yeah! Thank you, Plum. Lemon, our makeup artist hairstylist, and our writer Blueberry as Barryella's mean and jealous stepsister. Right. <laughs> yeah. Our stage manager, Orange. <laughs> and our fabulous music director, Cherry Jam. <laughs> Hi. Thanks. Oh, and where is our Prince Fairy Charming? Hi, Barry and Tim. You what? Oh, no! You did? You didn't. Well, that's terrible. You get some rest and don't worry about a thing. <sighs> that was Barry and Tim. Prince Barry Charming is now Prince Barry Limping. He broke his toe playing Kick the Apricot Pit. He's gonna be on crutches for three weeks. Great! And I just finished his costume. There aren't any other Berrykins in town as tall as Too Tall Timmy. Oh, no. I wouldn't say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. <laughs> hey, hey, wait! Hold on! Help! Ah. I told you to let her lead. Guys, you were absolutely marvelous. How fast can you do a rewrite? Barryella and Prince Barry on a long trip won't be back till next fall. Instead of a rewrite, how about a re-cast? Huh? Hi, it's Blueberry. Hey, Blueberry. How's everything in Berry Bitty City? Splendid, splendid. We're putting on a play. Wow, great. Give me a call when it opens. I'd love to come down and see it. Well, I was wondering if you'd like to be in it? Me? You want me to be in your play? Uh, I've never done any acting. I don't know. What would I have to do? Well, you'd be one of the stars. But what would I have to do? It's a terrific role. He's handsome, suave, debonair. But what do I have to do? Oh, well, you know, memorize some lines and say them. It's really fun. Please? Yeah! yeah. Please! <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. I, uh, whoa, <laughs> you're all there. Strawberry? She's at the cafe, making lunch for the rehearsal. Every member of the cast and crew gets a catered lunch and dinner. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Well, uh, if you really want me to. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Huck. I'll email a script. See you as soon as you can get here. Okay. We have a Prince Berry Charming! <laughs> but, but, everyone in the land is invited to the first ball of the season. Why, why can't I go? Why, you have nothing fitting to wear. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> but couldn't I borrow something of yours? Ah, oh, the 
idea. Sister, do you hear her? Our vile stepsister has the nerve to demand one of my frocks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now I shall never dance with Prince Very Charming. I... Oh, muffin crumbs. That's not in the script. No, I spilled. Speak not such nonsensical buffoonery. <laughs> oh, hi, Huck. No, <laughs> I didn't mean you. We're rehearsing the play. Great, I'll tell them. Uh, no, we're at the cafe, getting dinner for the cast and crew. We'll be at the theater in two... No, three minutes. Excellent, see you there. Oh, and thanks again, Huck. I can't tell you what this means to us. You're a real prince. <laughs> He's ten minutes from town. Oh, it's so great he wanted to do it. Oh, he couldn't wait. Of course, the idea of having your lunches and dinners is what sealed the deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's everything. Shall we get this show on the road? Charming doesn't show up soon. This whole production's gonna turn into a pumpkin. I've saved dinner for Huck whenever he gets here. Didn't he say he was? Yeah, said he was 10 minutes away. That was hours ago. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> Finally, oh, he's very charming. Okay. May I present our very own Prince Barry Charming! <laughs> oh, that's... <laughs> no, really, I, uh... <laughs> thanks, but I'm so sorry. I was almost here and realized I had left the script you emailed me at home. Had to turn all the way around, go all the way back, and... Well, I thought you'd all be asleep by now. We were. And dreaming of our Prince Barry Charming. Hey, well, <laughs> Charming, that's me, I guess. Hmm. The play's <laughs> great. Nice writing, Blueberry. Thank you, Huck. Coming from a great writer like you, I'm... Well, thank you. And I've been practicing my lines. I... Uh... Mm? Hi, Raspberry. What? Taking your measurements. <clears throat> Taking your measurements. For your costume? Me? That's me? It's going to be you when I get done with... Mm, when the costume is finished. A little makeup, a little work on the hair, and presto! Even you won't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, charming. That's me. So, how about we rehearse the scene where Barriella meets Prince Barry Charming for the first time? I know that one. The scene where I say, Good evening, and may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting lady? <gasps> Whoa! You memorized your lines already? Well, pretty much, yeah. Excellent! Okay, Huck, right here. Bariella, you'll be entering. You see the prince. The prince will see Bariella. Mm -hmm. You're a prince. Yep. Regal. Right. Charming, but not snooty. Yes. Aristocratic, but not arrogant. Yep. You are going to impress her. Got it. Mood music! You're on. Hmm. Good evening. And may a humble prince ask just who's this enchanting oh. lady? Huh? How's that? <gasps> Different. I'd even say unique. I think uh, we want to relax into the oh. character. Yes. It's just an everyday ball. Sure. You go to balls all the time. Yes. No big deal for a prince like you. Got it. Hi. So, good evening. And may a humble prince ask who is this enchanting <gasps> lady? <gasps> Interesting. <laughs> Got an idea. Evening, ma'am. Another 
idea. Good evening. Whoa. Good evening. Ow! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My fault. Good evening. This is your humble prince asking the question. <gasps> Who is this enchanting lady? It's gonna be a long night. Oh, Prince Berry Charming, I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal... Cut the music! Uh-huh. It's okay. It's all right. I'm kind of thinking that eek isn't what Berriella would feel for the prince at this moment. No, it's what I was feeling for my feet. I was stepping on them. Huh? See, I, uh... Don't, uh, I don't know how to dance. Oh, well, no problem. Hmm. Our choreographer will have you waltzing in no time. Who's that? Me. Music! <laughs> That's good. You're eek. getting it just yeah. Maybe not so eek. If you could just yeah. cut the music! I see what you mean. Another idea! Well, he's getting better, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. I've had worse students. Not many, but some. Oh! <laughs> Don't worry. I'll learn it. I'll learn it. You know it's late. How about we break? Everything will mm -hmm. go better after a good night's sleep. You're right, Strawberry. Everyone's been working really hard. Let's call it a night. I'll practice my dancing in the morning. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good Blueberry, huh? did you say he really wanted to do this? Oh, yeah. He couldn't wait. I mean, I was excited. I'm pretty sure he was, too. Why? It's just... He doesn't seem to be having a good time. I mean, this is supposed to be fun. Well, what do you think? Will it do? Yeah, I guess it'll have to. I think it'll make a great Barriella coach. Are you sure you looked everywhere? I'm telling you, Ed, there isn't a pumpkin to be had. It's just not pumpkin season, you see. Yeah, okay. What? What is it? How do we get it to the stage? Strawberry. Morning, Huck. How's the practicing going? Really great. A little more practice and your feet will be safe at the dress rehearsal tonight. <laughs> 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 no, you'll be fine. We'll have fun. Are you having fun? Oh, well, sure. Wouldn't want to let you all down, would I? It's really good of you to do this for us, but we wouldn't want you to do it if it didn't feel comfortable for you. And fun. You know? Oh, sure. Of course. <laughs> well, don't wear out your feet before dress rehearsal tonight. Oh, wait. 
Last rehearsal, it was 20. Tell you what, let's take a break from dancing. Great. Cherry can run through your song with you. Song? Yeah! Whoa! 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 Uh -huh. Well, Plum, how do you like Barry Yellow's pumpkin coach? I love it. Plum? Except it looks like a watermelon. It is a watermelon. Pumpkins are out of season, but no problem. One pumpkin coming up. We'll have her finished before the curtain rises and Ed says, giddy up. <laughs> A watermelon? What else can go wrong? Plum. Yes? There's something I should tell you. Did you hear? The prince is searching... Uh, the entire... Uh, searching the entire land for the girl who left the ball at midnight last night. Does he know who she is? Blueberry! Oh, hi, Plum. Just bringing lunch over now. Huh? You're kidding. Okay. I'll tell them. The Prince Charming song is out. Huck can't sing. <laughs> You both look great, if I do say so myself. Now, huh? don't worry. You know what they say. Bad dress rehearsal, great show. Or is it bad dress rehearsal, bad show? Just remember, no matter what happens, the show must go on. We'll be fine. Just have fun. Hmm? At least there's nobody here to see me if I mess up. Oh, no. That's not till tomorrow night. The place uh, will be packed. It will? Sure. We're giving the show for all the Barrican kids. Y you mean there's going to be an, an audience? Of course. That's the whole point. Okay, you ready, Huck? 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 Oh, no. Curtain's going up. <laughs> What's with him? Worst case of stage fright I've ever seen. He can't move. What'll we do? The show must go on. Oh, Prince Berry Charming. I can't begin to tell you how delightfully happy I am to finally meet you at this royal ball. Here, at this royal ball. Why, thank you, Berriella. And may I say that you dance divine, divine, divinely. You dance. Devani. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls in the land. You know what we say at the castle. If the hat fits, wear it. Let me try it on first. No, me first. Me! And now, now, patience, please. <laughs> tisk, tisk, tisk. I am sorry. It seems that you are not the one I danced with at last night's ball. What do you think? Is it working? Working is... isn't... well, it isn't the word I would have chosen. Hmm. So, what does everybody want to hear for tonight's story time? I know. Because tomorrow night you're all having a special surprise, how about I read you... Fairy Yella and Prince Fairy Charming. Aww. We heard it. I'm not we are. Oh, oh, my goodness. Excuse me. I've got to make a phone call. Don't worry, Huck. Maybe performing just isn't your best thing. You know, like, writing isn't my best thing. Really, huh? Excuse me, Huck. Hello? Hi, Blueberry. 
What? Hmm? Don't be sorry. It's actually not such bad news as you might think. Uh, thank you, Blueberry. I'll call you later. Listen, Huck. We have a problem I think you might be able to help us with. Does it involve acting, dancing, or singing? <laughs> well, I just found out Berryella and Berry Prince Charming isn't the Berrykin Kid's favorite story. Huh? Do you think you and Blueberry could write a different play for us? Now that'd be something I'd like to co-star in. Okie dokie. That'll do it. One pumpkin coach at your service. Uh... Can you make sure you put a pumpkin coach in the new play? <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Strawberry. Huh? Hi. You're here early, Blueberry. Where's Huck? We're supposed to go to the post office together. Still waiting for a letter from Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine? I really hope they want to buy Huck's in my mystery story. I was sure it would come two days ago. <gasps> but it didn't. Then I was sure it would come yesterday. But it didn't. So I'm positive it will come today. In fact, I believe I'll go down to the post office now. I just can't wait here any longer. It's too exciting! Come on, Scouty! You startled me. I was looking for my special delivery stamp. Oh, what can I do for you? Did a letter come for me, J.D. Bug? Hmm, blueberry, blueberry. <laughs> Silly me, I forgot. There was a letter for you. Was? It's on the way to your bookstore. Special delivery. On its way to... You're delivering it to... Come on, Scouty! Oh. Wait! Come back! Uh, wait! Don't you have a letter for me? Special delivery? Uh, <laughs> what is it, Scouty? We have to catch that postal bee! Oh! The letter's been delivered! Thank you, Scouty. You knew where it was all along. It's from Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine. This is it, Scouty. Cross your fingers. I mean, toes! We regret to inform you that your mystery story is not, not what Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine is looking for at this time. Oh. Oh, Blueberry. I am so, so sorry. <laughs> the worst thing is that Huckleberry was counting on the help it would bring his home for homeless dogs. He so needed to sell that story. Hmm. <laughs> what a show off. <gasps> Pupcake hmm? just gave me an idea. How to raise funds for Huckleberry's dog shelter. He did? We'll hold a dog show. We'll invite folks from Berry Betty Dale and Acorn Acres and all the neighboring towns. It could be a big hit, don't you think? Yeah! Want to be in a dog show, Scouty? <laughs> but what do you show in a dog show? Oh, it's easy. All you do is walk the dogs around on leashes for all to admire. And would fashions be allowed? Well, sure, I guess. Why not? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, everyone has to have them. Just wondering if I could, I mean, you all know Chiffon never goes anywhere not dressed for the occasion. <laughs> of course. Anyone who wants to can have fashions or not. They'll be optional. Excellent. <gasps> Chiffon, want to be in a dog show? <laughs> but a dog show must need doggy hairstyles, right? Sure, but only if you want. It's optional. I mean, grooming is nice, but not all dogs are hairstyle dogs. Well, of course. I wouldn't want to force a hairstyle on anyone it wouldn't work for. Hannah, this is going to be a sensation. You'll look like a star. <gasps> Just walk them in a circle? Certainly we can do better than that. 
What do you have in mind? Just, you know, trying them to do some special moves. Well, I guess it could be an optional thing. But that would look rather disorganized. I mean, if we're gonna have a really fabulous show, we should definitely have all the dogs doing more than just walking. Hmm. Hmm? Just some simple moves. Nothing too complicated. Simple moves? Oh, um... Okay, fine with me. Marmalade, we can come up with a little doggy dance step, can't we? Oh, Huckleberry, I'm sorry about our story. It's my fault. You wanted to write it in a more original way, and I pushed to make it like a Patty Persimmon mystery. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll submit our new mystery soon as we settle on an idea. That's the spirit. We can work on it as soon as we finish training. Training? For what? Strawberry decided we're going to have a big dog show to raise funds for your home for pets. Blueberry, that's fantastic. Wow, you girls are terrific. What do you think of that, Tom Tom? <laughs> Another rejected idea? Oh, so sorry, Bosley. I didn't see you there. I need a brainstorm. I'm all out of mystery ideas. Wait, I got it. The mystery of the disappearing mystery ideas. <laughs> <laughs> if you would welcome a suggestion, I've always liked the advice, write what you know. Not a bad idea. But is there anything mysterious going on in our quiet, normal lives? How about the mystery of where in the world did the floor go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, write what we know. Oh, I know this spot where my pet mobile got stuck. Not sure if there's anything mysterious about that, though. <laughs> it was for the barricades, remember? <laughs> That's right. They thought my seven dogs were a monster with seven noses. Hey, that would work. I've got it. A monster is terrorizing the berry patch. It has seven noses. And it slobbers all over. At night, it creeps into Berry Bitty City, looking for victims. Stealth Sleuth, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> I mean, Stan and Stacy. <laughs> Stan and Skathy, the stealth sloops. I mean, stealth sluice. Uh, never mind. Too much of a tongue twister. Gus and Betty? Kaylee and Kyle. On the case. That's it! Kaylee and Kyle on the mystery of the slobbering snuffler. I like it! Cake. We are supposed to be practicing for the show. <laughs> it's not playtime. This is very serious. <laughs> now let go. <laughs> you silly. Come back with that. not win the dog show, Pupcake. Aww. But that's okay, as long as we have fun. Sorry 
we disturbed story time, Blueberry. Oh, what are you reading today? A very big vacation. Yay! <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. I'm sorry you missed story time. Blueberry led us a very big vacation. I'll tell you the story. And so Strawberry and her friends decided to go on a very big vacation. So everyone in Berry Berry City packed and left. It was real dark in the berry patch. But Kaylee and Kaya were on the case. They were going to get to the bottom of this monster mystery. When out of the bushes came a horrible sound. <gasps> Just like the legend warned. First, you hear the noise. Then you feel the heat of the rancid breath of seven noses. Then... The slobbering of seven tongues. <laughs> its teeth were long and glistened in the moonlight. Beady eyes and 14 flaring nostrils. There is no escape from this monster in the berry patch. M monster in the berry patch? Why did we ever decide to visit Berry Bitty City? I thought you said it was peaceful here. Welcome to Berry Bitty City and the Marketplace Cafe. Would you like a table? No thanks. Lost our appetite. Huh? Can't get out of here fast enough. Do you know they have a monster in Berry Bitty City? It has seven noses and seven teeth and long tongues that glisten in the moonlight. I heard that the whole town is packing up and evacuating. My word, it's worse than we thought. Better steer clear of Berry Bitty City. That's it. You've got it. Looking good, Marmalade. Oh, hi, Huck. Hi, Blueberry. What you got there? We're mailing our new mystery story to Berry Bitty Mysteries magazine. Good for you. Good luck. Thanks. <gasps> oh! Uh, J.D. Bug, did you ever find your special delivery stamp? It's a mystery. It has completely disappeared. <clears throat> Pardon me, but, uh, is this it? It is! Where was it? Uh... Around. Uh, J.D. Bug, we have a package that needs that stamp. Oh! Berry Bitty Mysteries Magazine! <laughs> Chin up. Let's strap our stuff. <laughs> that sweater is so style. So chicish. Oh, so you. <laughs> Okay, Scouty, let's see what you can do. Good boy. That's it. Now, how to get you to do the same thing without using the doggy biscuits? Hmm, a mystery indeed. Whoa, where are you going? Wait, slow down! Ouch! Where are you going? Whoa! Help! Whoa! Wait, I think if I go under, and if you go over... Ouch! Hold on, Scouty! Stop pulling! Sorry, excuse me! What's going yeah. on? Oh, hi, Huck. Take a look at your competition. <laughs> wow. Plum and Pitter Patch are really advanced. I thought we'd just walk in a circle. We'll just have to practice harder. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. And hop, hop, hop. <gasps> Fantastic! Now, the rollover. That's it. 
That's not a rollover. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> Come on, Chiffon. You can do it. Huh? Oh, no. You're scared. Oh, poor Chiffon. This just isn't going to work. Okay, here we go, Cinepop. Forget the walking in a circle plan. We've got a new strategy. You begin here and jump over this one, and then keep going over the next jump, and it's fun, see? Okay, showtime. Step lively. Hey! <laughs> I said showtime, not dig time. This will not win any ribbons. Cherry! What happened to you? Where's Cinepuff? At Lemons, having a bath. Turns out she's more interested in digging than show jumping. Show jumping? Who said anything about show jumping? Ah, uh, you'll see. At show rehearsal this afternoon. Our first rehearsal! Wow, nobody looks very excited. <sighs> For our next story, how about the mystery of who stole the bun out of the dog show? Shall I go first? Why not? Um, aren't you supposed to have a leash? Pitter Patch doesn't need one. He's so well trained. Waterworks? Who decided that? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? Oh, I'll get you guys. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know how I'm gonna fix your hair. Such behavior. Rehearsal is not playtime. So embarrassing. And I bragged how Pitter Patch didn't need a leash. What a fool I made of myself. <laughs> Come on, admit it. We all had a very fun time. It was a great mud fight. I guess I forgot it was supposed to be a dog show and not a plum show. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I think it's time to let dogs be dogs and Plum be Plum. Plum be Plum. I, I mean, me be Plum. I mean, Plum be me? I mean, what do you mean? I was thinking, let's have an opening dance number in the dog show and you solo in it. After all, you are the star dancer. Really? I could be the star? And so the rest of us could just walk in a circle? Exactly. And how about we lose the water sprays? Oh, that's a very good idea, Strawberry. Great job! The dog show is going to be a smashing success. Look, Strawberry, huh? I made these fabulous, fantastic, chic hats. The dogs are supposed to keep those on during the show? <laughs> no, they're for us. Oh, for us! That's very nice, Raspberry. Girls! Oh, this is terrible! What's going on, Orange? I haven't sold one ticket. What? I don't think one person from out of town is coming to our show. We sent out flyers, didn't we? We did. I gave them to Jitterbug. Well, what about everyone from town? Oh, my. When Blueberry gave me all those flyers and asked me to mail them to everyone out of town, I... I... Oh, my. I forgot to mail them to everyone in town. So, no one, no one in Fairy Pity City but we, us, knows there's even a... I mean, nobody even knows there's a dog show? Do you think we have time to sell tickets to everyone in Fairy Pity City? Not if all the Berrykins already left for the Berry Big <gasps> Berrykin picnic. <laughs> Well, did they? Did they? What? Did the Berrykins all go on a picnic? They did. Oh. Well, we can't have a dog show with no one to, you know, show to. 
What will we tell Huckleberry? This show was supposed to raise funds for his home for homeless pets. <sighs> I can't imagine what happened. Not one ticket sold. Neither can I. It's a mystery. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hello? Yes, this is Blueberry speaking. What? Mr. Toad Simmons? You're the editor of Berry Pity Mysteries? Uh, that's great! Really? As I said, I'm thrilled with the fresh and new voice of this mystery. And such a clever setting. A dog show. However did you come up with it? So inspired. I love it. You do? I have to say, that first submission of yours, well, it reminded me of a Patty Persimmon mystery. And I've so been there, read that. Uh, so I'm over the moon to find something so original. We'll publish it next month. Well, that is, if you are still willing to sell it. Yes! I can't believe we did it! <laughs> we Great did it job, together, Just got a brainstorm. Kaylee and Kyle and the ballet slipper thief. No! I can't go on. My ballet slipper. It's been stolen. Help me. Don't worry, ma'am. Swan Lake will not be your swan song. Kyle and Kaylee are on the case. Morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding! Could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> Could it be this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Beyond the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea. Watching the waves all rolling by. Come on, girls, let's have some fun. Let's dance all day under the sun. Because we're sunshine girls. Tap your feet to the beat now. Sunshine girls. And jump up, move to the groove. Yeah. Sway to the left, strike the pose. Bounce, bounce, bounce like a beach ball. We're sunshine. 
Pants check. Snorkel check. Sunscreen lotion check. Swimsuits check. Beach towels check. Second set of beach towels for when the first set's wet check. Oh. Wow, Orange. Are you ever organized? Huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just the vacation checklist that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Uh, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so She's very nice. nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization, that's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep, there's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality, that's the key to a happy vacation. Uh, I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> I hear something coming! Just the breeze. Oh, oh, is that it? Hmm. Guess not. So very sorry. This letter was delayed by bad weather. It just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotel years 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 from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I really had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. There must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. Yep. True. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Very Breezy Bay Resort with a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Very Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Very Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? 
Mm, yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old fashioned hard work. Or sunshine, crafts. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's have do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes. Yes, you can. Lemon, you help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, but which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Maybe a little bit too much shade. I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery. <laughs> Next. Hey, Orange, you want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? Oh, it, um, <laughs> uh, hmm. I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Well, we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very Breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it.
Do you think Orange is going to be all right? We better go check on her. Oh, Orange, we know how hard you worked. You really tried your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? Mm, the resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork, that's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. <sighs> I'll go talk with her. 19 and 20. Orange? Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh, not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope. These are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs, they're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This, right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... I think what makes it fun is us being together, having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right! <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> oh, I have so many this is ideas! Be great. Come on, let's get going! exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, 
they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow our vacation begins. Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort. Tropical paradise with blue skies It's better than a dream To dance by the sea Watching the waves all rolling by Come on girls, let's have some fun Let's dance all day under the sun Because we're sunshine girls Tap your feet to the beat now Sunshine girls Jump up, move to the groove yeah. Sway to the light Batter basics and basics of berry flawless baking. I am certain you are prepared for today's class creative cupcaking. <laughs> are you ready to cupcake? Yeah, let's do it. It's on. I've got our ingredients flour, sugar, baking powder, all this fresh strawberry jam. So let the baking begin. Very creative. Orange is putting mint leaves and chocolate chips in her batter for a mint chip cupcake creation. I'm putting real bits of strawberry in my cupcake to make it extra moist and tasty. How about you, Lemon? I'm replacing some of the oil in mine with applesauce. Adds flavor. Mmm, <laughs> and apple fragrance. Mmm. <sighs> Blueberry, how are you being cupcake creative today? I'm adding ground zucchini. <laughs> Well, I read about it in a cupcaking blog. It's good. It'll taste like nuts and cinnamon. I promise. Hey, what's that? I wonder what's going on. I don't know. <gasps> hey, look! What is it? I have no idea. Oh, It's just a little something I call the Sparkle Straw Water Pine Berry. Wow! I was tinkering with some pollen, you see, and selecting seeds, and oh, I don't want to bore you. Anyway, would you like a taste? Yes! 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 
goodness. Uh, well, all right then. Everyone, step up. Here you go. Here's a glass. And one for you. Uh, pass this one down, won't you? Uh, carry on. Yes, there's another. Enjoy. Mmm. It's delicious. It tastes like kind of a, I don't know, maybe watermelon, grape, no, oh, strawberry, and yes, pineapple. I've never tasted anything like it. Oh, and it's a sense sensation. I've got a fashion of fragrance after it for my salon. Oh, Princess Berrykin, uh, please try some. Ahem. <clears throat> this sparkle straw water pine berry is the finest achievement in berry culture I have ever witnessed. To mark this occasion, I hereby declare tomorrow Berrykin Bloom Day with a ceremony in his honor. <laughs> Why? Oh, why, thank you. It's really hardly necessary. It's the least we can do, Barrack and Bloom. After all you do for us. When plants get sick, you always figure out a way to make them better. And where would we be without your berry bitty veggies? It's all part of my job. Oh, well, it's a lovely gesture, I suppose. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I must tend to my bitty orchard. Humble. Which means it'll be all the more fun to surprise him with something really nice on his special day. Ooh, what a great idea! What can we do that would be very special? Well, I'll ask Plum to help me decorate the gazebo. And I'll bet Sherry could handle the music. Wow, Raspberry, that's a great idea. Perfect, Raspberry. I love it. But what about the rest of us? We need to do something really special. I know. Let's each make him a cupcake. We can make them with the delicious flavors from all the fruits he grows. Oh, that'll be fun. That's perfect. Great idea, Strawberry. Let's get back to baking. Barrack and Bloom supplies all the Berry Bitty produce for my store, so I want to make him the most special cupcake ever. Now, how to make this cupcake special for Barrack and Bloom? Oh, I know! I'll fill the cupcake with a tablespoon of delicious strawberry jam. Oh, no! My jam! Where'd it go? Cupcake? Oh, those were all the jars I had. Oh, you're gonna have a tummy ache for sure. And I'm gonna have to restock all the jam in my cafe. Hello? Orange! Just a minute! <coughs> oh, Orange, are you all right back there? I'm fine. Uh, just making my cupcake. Oh, okay. I need some strawberry jam. Help yourself. Thank you. Anytime, Strawberry, and... Oh, my. I was gonna put some in my cupcake, but I was completely out. Back to the kitchen I go. <coughs> it's me, Marmalade. <coughs> oh, bless you. Hmm, with all that jam, Strawberry must be making an enormous cupcake. Well, I can match that. Uh, 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 Hi, Orange. Do you mind if I borrow some... sprinkles? Uh, sure. Uh, help yourself. Uh, I've got to get back to my cupcake. Uh, 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 are you okay? <coughs> I, uh, I'm fine. <coughs> All that flour for one cupcake? Oh. Oh. I've got some major rethinking to do. Blueberry? Oh, hi, Strawberry. What's new? Um, not 
much, I guess. Except you're dragging around a giant banana. It's for my cupcake. Your cupcake? Why don't you just use a bitty banana? I mean, you can't fit all that banana into a little cupcake. Who said anything about a little cupcake? You mean, exactly how big is your cupcake going to be? I don't know, but Orange is making a huge one. She's using bags and bags of flour. Oh, you must have just misunderstood. Look at my cupcake. It's normal sized. I'm sure she's baking one just like it. After all, how much cupcake can Barrack and Bloom eat? Hi, guys. How about the cupcake I made for Barrack and Bloom? Bouncing boysenberries, Orange. That's very gigantic. I know. <laughs> Isn't it great? Great? That's the hugest cupcake I've ever seen. Well, don't you think Barrack and Bloom deserves the most special cupcakes we can bake? Did someone mention my name? Yeah. Let's hide. It's Barrack and Bloom. Ah, there you are, Miss Strawberry. Oh, <laughs> yep, here we are. Doing uh, nothing secret at all. That's right. Uh, not at all. We <laughs> have nothing to hide. Did you ladies need me for something? I thought I heard my name. Nope, not me. Uh, not at all. Nuh-uh. Uh, you -uh. uh, must have been someone else. Have a lovely day. Well, then, I suppose I'll be on my way, too. That is a very fine banana you have there, young lady. A very fine banana, indeed. Taking it out for some exercise. Come along, Waldo. Time to finish your walk. I never thought of exercising the produce. Or naming it. Hmm. I suppose Waldo is a lovely name for a banana. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> so long. See you around. Yeah. Oh, that was too close. He almost found out our surprise. We've got to keep him away. How are we going to do that? I don't know. Keep him busy, I guess. But we're all too busy to keep him busy. We are, but I know someone who isn't. Wait, you want me to what? Just keep Barrack and Bloom busy. We can't let him see us making cupcakes. It'll spoil the surprise. We need a diversion. A diversion? That's a fancy way of saying distraction or keeping him busy. But... How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. Think of something. You're both guys. Why don't you do guy things? Guy things? I don't know. Like what? You're the guy. Figure it out. Hello there. <gasps> Here it comes now. A very fine day to you, young ladies. Why, Mr. Huckleberry, what brings you to town? Uh, guy things. Like, uh, running <laughs> and shouting. Ah, what in the world? Oh, my stars! What an unexpected development! Well, that seemed kind of extreme. I hope Eric and Bloom will be okay. Sure he will. He's a guy. They like that stuff. What matters is that he's not around to see our cupcakes. About those cupcakes. Yes, about those cupcakes, Orange. That one you made was huge. That's right, and it wasn't that big. And I'm not going to make Barrack and Bloom just any old cupcake. He deserves something special. Yes, but what's important is... What's important is that if you make a huge cupcake, ours will seem kind of bitty in comparison. Good point, but really... All I know is that I'm not skimping on mine. <sighs> Well, it's up to you what kind of cupcake you want to make. But just remember, uh, there are a lot of things that make a cupcake great. Don't well, then, I'm going to have to redo mine. For Maybe example, I can team up with them. Or a you are right. If blueberries are making a bigger the cupcake, to too, then mine will be bigger, sorry. too. And the presentation. Oh, no. I have a feeling this is going to be the very biggest, very baddest bake-off ever. There. My friends might be baking colossal cupcakes, but I'm sure Barrick and Bloom will be more than happy with this one. Won't he? Oh, maybe Orange is right, Pupcake. Barrick and Bloom is special, so he deserves a really special cupcake. But how can I make a more special cupcake without getting carried away? 
may not have all the answers, but you sure are cute. <laughs> hey, that's it. I'll make a pupcake cupcake. <laughs> It'll be the cutest cupcake you've ever seen. Stay right there. <laughs> Now stay still. Oh, you're right, Pupcake. It's not what I had hoped for. But you didn't really help by moving around so much. <laughs> oh, now what am I going to do? Of course! Oh, Custard! Please come back. It'll be fun! There! Now that's the perfect cupcake. Just one last touch. <laughs> Whoa! What do you think? I had to change my recipe to make it this big. But isn't it the most special cupcake you've ever seen? All it needs is this cherry and... Oh, I must have added too much plaster. Plaster? Well, I don't know how to make it delicious and bigger and stronger all at once. <gasps> hey, you guys are good with tools. Maybe you can help me. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I never baked anything before with plaster. <clears throat> I got four words for you. Frosting licking. Tell me you! you. Yes. So that activity is what you would refer to as zip lining? Wasn't it fun? Well, I... Uh... It's just one of the many activities in the, uh, gentlemen's diversion club. Yeah. Goodness, Mr. Huckleberry. This club seems quite rough and tumble. Only the roughest and tumblest for gentlemen like us. Now, when was this club established? It's after me! It's very old and established. We better keep diverting. I know another diversion, which I know you'll enjoy. To the lake! Yeah! <laughs> What a wonderful suggestion. I can't think of a more tranquil spot to sit back and marvel at the glory of nature all around us. Yet still, I can't help but wonder why my feet are strapped to these boards. I knew he'd love water skiing. Looking good, Barry Kin Bloom. <laughs> well, you were anyway. Okay, another diversion. Think. I know. Are you certain that this is enjoyable? As enjoyable as anything else I could all of a sudden think of. Have fun! Okay, now tackle me. Tackle you? I'm not even sure I know how to go about that. Is this necessary for the gentleman's diver diversion club? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> oh, uh, ah, do, whoa, do, whoa. Uh, 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 
Oh, dear. I, I do hope that wasn't too extreme. Are you all right? I'm fine. Hiya, Cherry. Just an hour to go till the big ceremony. All I need to do is put up a few more, you know, streamers, balloons, and more streamers, and then... What in the very bitty world? I thought you guys were just making regular old cupcakes. But this... A giant beehive? A circus? A volcano? Well, the lava is strawberry jam, and the rocks are sugar. At least it should taste good. How could you all get so carried away? Well, I tried making a pupcake cupcake, but that didn't work. Then I tried a custard cupcake, and, well, that didn't work either. So, uh, one thing led to another, and... Oh, perhaps I've lost my focus on what's important here. Ready to see the most special cupcake? Bring it in, boys! It's huge! How did you even... It. I had a little help from Ed and Earl. Yep. <laughs> and we used only the finest spare parts and lumber, plus 50 yards of fencing wire. I, uh, <clears throat> I wouldn't taste the cake part. Oh, but the frosting's delicious. And wait till you see this. Guys? Isn't this the best cupcake you've ever eaten? What's wrong with it? I don't know! Well, how come there's a fork in a gearbox? Uh, cause I was all done eating frosting. Look out! It's going out of control! <laughs> Let's work together to clean this mess up. Yeah! There we go. Good as new. So sad. <laughs> but at least I can still smell cupcakes. Cupcakes? Oh, dear. Never much cared for them. I'm more of a fruit and veggie man myself. Bear can bloom. Huckleberry, what... What happened to you? Well, it's like this. You see... We were jumping in mud puddles, and then we got kind of lost all night, and then we wandered into a brambleberry thicket, and... Oh! The ceremony's starting! You better get up there! The royal rutabaga. I am deeply honored, Princess Merrikin. And I am honored and full of gratitude to have this day named after me and, and this park. Oh, why, I've never seen this park so clean. However, I must say, the last day has been most unusual. Most unusual indeed. I'm not certain why I was invited into the Gentleman's Diversion Club, uh, but it has been the best 24 hours of my life. <laughs> oh, come here, you. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Folks, this is where it happens, right here. The whole town's gonna show up right here for the Glimmerberry Gathering. So we want this place spotless. No, 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 no. Now, everybody, look lively, look lively. <laughs> Come on, let's move it, move it, move it, folks. Uh, uh, I'll get it. You don't need any help. I can do it. Oh, we're working on this together.
be my most favorite season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. <laughs> We have some very cold weather moving in. Here, let me help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. first frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Um, I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> Strawberry. In the old days, this was my favorite part of First Frost. This is a very fun time of year, with celebrations and the Glimmerberry Ball and Glimmerberry Gathering. But sometimes, maybe we forget how important it is. That's why we always used to read this book, The Great Glimmerberry Gathering. It tells the story of the very first First Frost. Long ago, when Berry Bitty City was a very bitty place, everyone worked hard to help the new town grow. Together, they planted the seeds that would become the beautiful, bountiful Berry Grove. <gasps> but the first winter of that first year was not easy. The weather turned quite cold. Some of the townsfolk were trapped in their houses by snowdrifts, and others had to dig them out. Some townsfolk ran low on food they stored for winters, and others shared what they had. As the days went by, it only grew colder, and colder, and colder still. It looked like the young berry plants might die. That's when the first glimmerberry was carved and made into a beautiful glowing lantern, because it was important to... Wow! They've been carving glimmerberries that long? 
That's right. For many years. <laughs> I have no <laughs> idea. Me and so today, when we take the carved berries to the I field, never knew there was a, a real reason for it. Uh, I thought we did it because it's fun. It is fun, but it's also important because... This year, I'm going to carve the most beautiful berry ever. Of course, we have to remember why we carve the berries. See, in the story, it says... Oh, oh. I'm going to start work on my daring design right now. Oh, me too, me too. But don't you want to hear the rest of it? Oh, yeah, but I really want to get working on some designs. Oh, why wait till the last minute? I am going to absolutely outdo myself this year. Great idea. Let's hurry. Time's wasted. Gotta get busy. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. But, um... Oh. I guess... They didn't think the story was so important. I'm sorry, Princess Berrykin. Maybe the time wasn't right. But someday, Strawberry, you'll help them see the real reason for the gathering. I know you will. <sighs> hmm. Good. But not good enough. Not original, one of a kind, never been seen before enough. Hmm. I'm going to put my whole heart into this one. It's got to be the greatest, most beautiful. Hmm. No, that's not it. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! Oh, yes! I think I'm on to something. A little bit more here, a little bit less there. That's it! I bet no one has ever seen a design like this before. <laughs> Glimmerberry design? No. I mean, maybe? I mean, I don't know. I mean, why? I was just asking. I didn't see it. Not even for half a second? Well, maybe half a half second, but that's not why I stopped by. <laughs> I just want it to be a surprise. <laughs> I understand. I want my design to be a surprise, too. I just wanted to ask if I could borrow some drawing paper so I could make my Glimmerberry design. I have it in my head, but if I don't draw it soon, it might disappear. <laughs> of course. That's how my idea came to me. It just seemed to magically pop into my head. <laughs> Here you are. Ooh, this one seems pretty good. Nice shape, right size. I think I'll go for it. How about you, Strawberry? Any luck? I'm leaning toward this one. What do you think? It's a beauty, all right. Huh? Hey, Raspberry, have you picked a Glimmerberry to carve for the gathering? Oh, uh, yes, I have. And I better hurry home to carve it right now. <laughs> what was that all about? She wants her berry to be a big surprise. <laughs> Where's everybody going? Over to Strawberries. We're going to show each other our Glimmerberry designs. Are you coming, Raspberry? <laughs> okay. <laughs> but I'm certainly sure not going to show anybody my design until my berry is carved. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah! <laughs> oh, I love oh, this! Oh, that's wow. I think Can I go first? Can I, please? Sure, Plum. Go ahead. It took a while to get it just the way I wanted it. But what do you think? <gasps> it's oh, almost exactly like mine. That's fantastic, Plum. Check this out. I did one sort of like it. Hey, I did too. What do you know? Me too. Wonder how that happened. It happened because Orange copied my drawing. But, but, Raspberry, I haven't even seen your drawing. Uh, well, of course not. Then how could she have copied it? Uh, well, she saw blueberries, and blueberries saw plums, and plums saw lemons, and lemon saw mine. You're just, uh, joking. Right, Raspberry? <laughs> I 
do not think this is a joke. Now, let's stay calm and figure this out. I worked very hard on that design. I wanted to make something special and totally original for the Glimmerberry Gathering. I put my whole heart into it. I'm sure there's a very simple explanation. Of course there is. Everybody copied me. You can count me out. I'm not going to carve a Glimmerberry this year. But Raspberry, we need you. We can't have the Glimmerberry Gathering unless... Everybody's there. You know, I don't like to say this, but maybe Raspberry's right. Maybe Orange did copy my sketch. I didn't want to say anything either, but I was thinking Lemon might have been copying too. I hate to even think it, but I have a feeling maybe Plum did copy my sketch. Uh, Strawberry? We have a little problem. I'm starting to think that there has been some copying going on. Oh, Plum, really? Blueberry was hanging around my place that day and... I heard that! Am I being accused of copying? Look, I'm just saying... But it was Orange who copied me! I didn't copy anybody. Are you sure it wasn't you who copied me? Now, come on, everybody. Let's not get carried away. Carried away with what? We're talking about copying. I said it didn't copy. Girls, who's copying? Girls, we're talking about copying. Who's copying who? And one accused the other, and on and on it went, and now... No one wants to carve berries. And without everyone cooperating together, well, the gathering just cannot be. <sighs> I'm afraid we'll have to cancel the celebration. Thanks, Custard. Oh, Cupcake. I know you want to help, but there's nothing we can do. Won't be needing this anymore. to do. Meeting! Meeting time! Meeting at the cafe! Blueberry, raspberry, orange, lemon, everybody! Come on over as soon as you can! Tell everybody! Anybody! Everybody! Important meeting right now! What's this all about, Strawberry? Yeah! What's so important we had to run over here? I wanted you to hear the rest of the Glimmerberry Gathering. We never got to finish. But why? There's not going to be a gathering this year. Please, everybody, just stay and listen. When I'm done, I think you'll understand. Custard, the lights. <laughs> When that coldest of cold winters hit Berry Bitty City, the whole community worked hard to save the newly planted grove. But the weather kept growing harsher, and they knew the young plants weren't going to make it. Then, the littlest berrykin had an idea. We can carve out the frozen berries we do have, he said. And we can put glow bugs in them. Why would we do that? the others asked. If we took them to the groves, he explained, they might keep the plants warm. At first, they only laughed at the little berrykin, but then they understood. It was their only hope. If the plants didn't make it, they'd have no food to eat and no power to run the little city. So they worked together and took the glowing berries into the field. <laughs> and it worked! The plants were saved but only because every single person in Berry Bitty City brought a lantern to help warm the berry plants. The people of Berry Bitty City saw that they had to depend upon each other, the way they depend on the glimmer berries. And so we celebrate the glimmer berry gathering every winter. 
Every person in Berry Bitty City carves a frozen berry lantern. The whole town comes together and lights their lanterns in a circle. It is a promise everyone makes that the community will come together and help each other in the hard winter days to come. Friends helping friends. And that is what the gathering is really all about. Oh, oh my. I've really been acting so very silly. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Do you see this? Here. Wait, that's, that's, that's my design. That's right. And I drew one just like it. Hey, me too. So did I. We all did. I think you all saw it when I opened the box, but you didn't realize you'd seen it. That's how you came up with the same design. We all did. Oh, then, then, I accused you all of copying me when you didn't. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you can kind of, sort of, oh, forgive me. Well, sure, Raspberry. If you can forgive me. And me. Me too. I think we all overreacted. Oh, look, everybody. It's getting really frosty outside. I bet the berries are very frozen and perfect for carving. You had better hurry if you're going to get the glimmer berries carved in time. <laughs> Let's do it. Do it. Come Let's on. Do it. Come on, everybody. How about this one? Looking good, Orange. Uh, you missed a little spot there. Is everybody just about done? Yeah. yeah. Give, me yeah. Another yeah. Second. Give me another second. I'll let him know it's time. Could you please tell the glow bugs we're ready? 